Hey, welcome back to After the Episode, brought to you by Line Cutters, the adjustable ring that cuts fish in line. Yeah. But is it rolling? It's rolling, like the cam- rolling, rolling. Camera's on. Well, welcome back to Line Cutters After the Episode, mm-hmm. starring Teresa. Starring Ty. I am uh, the silent you partner. sidekick. <laughs> I'm Michael Jackson, you Tito. I'm Batman, you Robin. You're Nacho Libre. I am, uh, what's his... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me they're not going to hurt me like these. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Well, this is after the episode, um, beach walking with the kids from um, North Alabama. A lot of fun. It was a beautiful morning. It was. Ooh, perfect conditions. It was, it was awesome. You know, walking the beach at daybreak uh, on a slick day, which is a lot of days in the summer, is just a great way to wake up. And it's tough to get up that early, Exercise, but... Exercise, yeah. But it's, it's so pretty. I mean, mm-hmm. the, just the water just lapping against that white sand and the bait all the way up to the sand. We've even seen some mornings where the ladyfish are spraying the bait up onto the on sand. The sand. The and glass the, minnows and are laying on there just flopping. Flopping around and the seagulls are picking them up off the sand. This was one of those mornings where it was like that. There was yeah. a lot of bait everywhere. We had a great family from North Alabama with us. Um, Wesley and uh, Reese. Reese was the older brother. Wesley was the younger brother. Two boys. Chris and Robert and... She's good with names, man. She can remember everybody's name. I can't remember the mom's <laughs> name. She's sweet as pie. I can't remember her yeah. name. But, um, Great family. It'll come to me. I Great remember. family. Yeah, good family. Then boys could fish. They could. You could tell. You That's could tell they'd done a lot of... Bass fishing and cat fishing. Yeah, yeah a lot of freshwater stuff. And mm-hmm. they, they took right to throw on the beach, you know, it was like it was nothing. And it transfers over, man. If you've thrown any kind of bait in freshwater for... Large mouth, small mouth, hybrids, white bass. You're gonna take right to flats fishing or walking the beach fishing. Yeah, it's the same we, techniques. So what they showed up with was the um, Castmaster spoons. Yes. Um, and I think they gonna, said that they made some of yours as well. Slab spoons, yeah. I think that's what they said. Little weight slab spoons. It's that's one of my first ones. That's a rough one. That's a heavy one. Yeah. It's like kind of too big unless you're trying to really throw far for bigger fish, and we've done that. We caught some big ladyfish throwing those far. But that's the cast. There's the cast master. Smaller is better. People always like thinking saltwater, bigger, bigger, bigger. But walking that beach, the smaller the better. I'm telling you, people, because what they're feeding on is tiny. We throw these as well. Yep, that's about as big as I'd get right there. They make a three quarter ounce, but I would choose that one. Mm-hmm. You're going to catch a lot more fish. You can catch redfish on that. And then you can catch everything else on these. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, the little one is what they were using. As soon as they drop to the small cast master, any kind of small spoon, you're going to start nailing them. The tsunamis, it don't matter. They got all kind of stuff at Walmart. Just keep it small. And this is the cast master 3 8 ounce um, in silver. And we picked these up at Hook One, um, kayakfishinggear.com. Kayakfishinggear.com, that's right. right. Um, nothing like having all your tackle delivered right to the house. I love yeah, that. Yeah, love it. October is an amazing walk the beach time the mm-hmm. redfish the slot redfish start running the beach so mm-hmm. you're not just catching spanish and blue fish and and ladyfish and stuff like that you're also catching slot reds and they will whack top water on that beach uh, we've caught some really nice fish over there in october yeah and the bull the reds beach. will start running the beach too in october can't so wait for october Ready fall for is that. a great time to walk the beach do that with us just check us out at 30 milesoutcom under charters and scroll down and you'll see the walk the beach trip we get out there and you can bring kids and we can walk and we talk and I teach us a lot. I, I, I try to teach as much as I can, not just about walking the beach, but about how you can approach kayak fishing in the area and also where to eat and stuff like that too. Ty loves to talk and he loves to teach. T T T Ty Talk Teach. And T Talk. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh, I love that you love to talk. It keeps me up nights. <laughs> Moving right along. Oh, bless, it. bless your little heart. <laughs> your little chatty heart. <laughs> yeah, it was a good day. We had a great day. 
I really enjoy it when we get together with people and just kind of hang out and talk and walk the beach. So easy. When you take all the kayaks and everything out of it, it, uh, it makes it really simple. What would you bring, though, like gear-wise? I would bring, if I lived in Kentucky and I was coming down here, I would get all of my freshwater gear. Rod and reel combo, quick. Uh, I would pick my best bass rig. I would pick a, you know, my seven foot rod with a three closest thing to a three thousand or four thousand on it. What would you spool it with? I would spool it with fifteen to twenty pound braid. Would you use a leader? I would bring. Uh, I'm a bass guy, so I'd probably have fluorocarbon laying around or some mono at least, and I would put a, a twenty pound mono or floral leader on it. Three best baits to bring. Uh, I will go through my box and I find. The smallest, heaviest casting spoons I had, maybe if you had some for hybrid striper or something. Topwater plugs for walking the dog for bass. Um, any kind of spooks I had or, or, or anything like that. Grip. Fish grip pliers. And a bag pliers, pliers, pliers do a lot of it. Uh, some kind of a dry bag, guys. If y'all have any kind of a dry bag or if you can go pick one up before you do this, it's not to keep the gear dry. It's to keep this fine sand off of all your stuff. You don't want this. You can't put anything in the sand. It'll destroy it. And then you can throw the bag in the sand, and it just comes right off the bag. Mm-hmm. So that's so, it. Come on down with yeah. your bass gear and have fun on the beach. Yeah, Watch the sunrise, blast. catching yeah, fish. It's a great. You'll catch a lot of stuff, man. There's a lot of stuff out there run, running the surf in the morning and the evening. With that said, I think that's it. I mean, we it? caught some bluefish. We caught some skipjack. Um, just a normal. Small they caught fish. their first saltwater fish. Right there on the beach, they had a blast. It's a Chasing really good bait. way to catch a lot of fish. Sometimes they're small, sometimes they're medium, sometimes they're big. You never know. But it's just you're always going to catch something throwing small spoons off the beach. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for a lot more stuff. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching Line Cutters after the episode via 30 Miles Out. I'm Ty and this is Teresa. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What? Bye, y'all. Later, Tater.